This is the plant that will help your brain. This is the plant that will help with stress. This is the plant that I've been looking for. This is Bacopa. Bacopa is a plant, herb of grace, nootropic in every wonderful place. Hey everyone, I am on a quest to understand what are the different ingredients, plants, fungi, uh, other compounds in many of the functional beverages we use on a day-to-day -day basis. They're very popular these days, but what I wanna know is what does the science say? I also wanna try them myself, which I do with everything. And because I'm a biologist, I make sure I find them in the wild. I looked it up and it said it's here, so we're gonna look for it. So today we're gonna look at Bacopa. Bacopa is a plant that I studied a long time ago when I was early on in grad school. It is an aquatic plant, and I can tell you right now it is not found up here on the mountains. It's actually down in the wetlands. So let's get started. <laughs> to find this plant, I did what you can do, which is search for it on iNaturalist. It showed me the plant is down on the coastlines. So I took off on a road trip with Jonas and my wife Haley. Here's some background. This plant, Bacopa maneri, is not native to the United States. Instead, its use goes back to its native range in India where it's known as Brahmi. Other names include herb of grace and water hyssop. In India, it was used as an Ayurvedic medicine to improve memory and cognition. Now in the United States, there are other native Bacopa species. They're semi-aquatic plants, and there's something I used to plant in my early 20s when I was working as an aquatic biologist restoring wetlands. But for now, I had my sights set on finding the famous Bacopa moniri. Which is why I'm now tromping around in this swampy area in Florida. Salty. We gotta go. Let's go back to where it said it was. Oh, it's getting dark. Can you actually shoot like that? After driving several hundred miles, I finally came across one. I can't believe I found it while everyone else left. Nobody thought I would find it. I gotta collect a whole bunch of it so they believe that I found it. Sure. Find it? Yeah. It's exactly where it said it was gonna be. Here, come over here to the beach, I'll show you. I can't believe you found it. This is an ancient medicinal plant that's good for your brain, it's good for stress. There are a lot of studies being done about this plant right now, and here I am in a parking lot in Jacksonville, Florida, and it's exactly where it said it was gonna be. The first thing I like to do when studying a medicinal plant is find it, touch it, feel it, taste it, just to get a feel for the plant. So I dug up this little patch of Bacopa so that you could see what it looks like. Generally, it's nice succulent looking leaves and you have little white flowers right here, but the flowers aren't always going to appear, but look how tiny these are. Now these leaves are potentially what you would eat. You can add them to salads, you can put them into teas. Okay. The leaves don't taste particularly great, so you usually add something to it. Inside of this mm. plant are triterpenoid saponins known as bacocides. It's believed that that active ingredient is what's causing the effects that we see in the studies. Now here's a quick synopsis of what the current research indicates it helps. Stress, both acute and chronic, basically it acts as an adaptogen. Memory, it reduces inflammation. It acts as an antioxidant. It seems to target certain cancer cells in petri dish studies. Finally, it seems to be beneficial in treating ADHD symptoms. Now the last effect of Bacopa that I mentioned that it's helpful for ADHD symptoms is something I'm very interested in, in part because my wife and my son are full-on ADHDers. It's an amazing part of who they are. But if there's something that can help them, I wanted to know more about it. So I dove into the studies. One study gave 31 ADHD children aged 6 to 12 a small dose of Bacopa maneri daily for six months. They found that for those given Bacopa, 89% had improvements in self-control, 85% had improvements in attention, and they also found that learning problems were reduced for 78% of them. Then in a 2022 double-blind placebo study in Australia, 112 boys with ADHD between 6 and 14 were studied. For those given Bacopa for 14 weeks, it did show increased reaction times, decreased error making, overall cognitive improvement, better mood, better executive functioning, and better sleep. That's just such a cool thing to read in, in these studies because it's showing with science that yes, Bacopa Maneri can help a lot of these things that I 
I see my kids having trouble with with ADHD. So am I taking advantage of that? Yes, definitely doing that. It's like how you'd expect the color green to taste. It definitely tastes healthy. But before I wrap everything up and I give you the main takeaways that you should have in your brain when you think about Bacopa Maniri, I want to highlight this one study. A group of Indian researchers gave male mice bacopa for one to two months and found that while these mice were taking bacopa, they had decreased fertility. And that mainly meant motility and viability of the spermatozoa decreased. That can sound really bad, but fortunately it is reversible. They found as soon as you stop taking bacopa, it just changes all the way back, so that's good. And they also found that it didn't cause any problems with libido, also no problems with the liver and kidneys. So that's worth noting. So having been through the literature now in what is over a month trying to understand this herb, what can I definitively say? I think the key takeaway is that it seems to be pretty safe. Definitely safer than a lot of pharmaceutical alternatives which are used to treat some of these things. I think that it's worth trying out because I just can't see any real downsides. The only thing that people always note is that these trials have not gone on for years and decades and so you always have to have a little bit of caution. Now, with that said, I am going to give you a quick review of the main takeaways. First, mood enhancement. In particular, it seems to help with the symptoms of depression and that's partly because it helps regulate neurotransmitters serotonin and dopamine. Second, it has antioxidant properties and that helps your body get rid of free radicals. Three, it has anti-inflammation properties. Four, it has neuroprotective effects, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's to name a few. And finally, my favorite, attention and focus, which is why it's popular for students, and memory. Now, it's not the ability to learn. That doesn't seem to change so much. It's more your rate of forgetting things is decreased. Either way, that seems to be helpful. Who would think that such a teeny tiny little plant would have medicinal benefits for all of us? So that's it. I left links to the review papers that I talk about here and that are worth reading if you want to do a deeper dive on this. I also left a link to the longer video where I just sat down and talked through some of the studies. You might want to see that. And if you like learning about this nootropic, then you're going to want to learn about other plants and fungi that I talk about here on Stone Age Man. This is borage. Dirk Dale. And it grows all around us. And if you wondered why I haven't had much content lately, I shared that with my patrons. In part, it was two armed gunmen that stole all of my production equipment. Here's the story. My patrons help get me back on my feet. I share updates with them and you can also help support this education if you'd like right here. And remember, go give some love to Magic Mind who is the sponsor for this video. And I am so grateful that they're sponsoring a whole series of videos this year. Some of them on the ingredients of this, some of them just on other plants and fungi that I find really interesting. And I would definitely encourage you to go to the link below where you can use my code STONEAGEM20 to get 20% off of your one-time purchase or 40% off of subscription. And then let me know what you think. All right, we'll see you in the next video.